You're on the air for Dreamtime Radio and we're discussing the soaring unemployment rates in Australia. Hello, who are we speaking to? Yeah, hi, this is Brian. Brian, mate, tell me, what do you think? 2014, you know, hasn't, hasn't really been a great year for many, has it? Well, it sucks, mate. I mean, I've been looking for a job for the past year and we're a family, I'm gonna pay my bills. And you got these bloody boats coming in, that just adds to it. So, so Brian, you think that the boat people are the reason that we have an increase in unemployment in Australia? Well, look, mate, I, I don't know. I don't know everything about it, but one thing we don't need in Australia, and that's more competition for jobs. Well, Brian, do you really think that that's a fair statement to make? You know, these people that are coming on the boats are risking their lives coming from war-torn countries and, you know, dangerous places. Yeah, but, mate, mate we got, everyone's got their own problems. Every country's got their own problems. So, you honestly think that it's right for Australia? I wanted to debrief with you a little bit before we went in, but, um, Salvi has been waiting about 15 minutes. So as long as you're okay, I wanted to go straight in. Nicole. Is everything okay? Having to do this every day is taking its toll. I understand. It's heavy on all of us, and we do appreciate the work you've been doing. Thank you. I mean, it's been great, it's just... But I don't know if I can anymore, you know? To be honest, it, it seems so pointless. What's the government doing? What are we doing? What the hell are they going to do? I don't even know why I'm still in this country. It's completely fine. I understand, Janica. Mm. I do. <laughs> Hi, Selvi. today. Vanakam Selvi, inna ke epdi irukringa? Paravalla, nalla. I'm okay. Good. It's nice to see you again. This is our interpreter for today, Janika. So, how are you really feeling today? Unmaya, Ungada Mananile, in a Kapirka. I'm here, meaning she's okay, she's alive. How is Australia treating you? Australia, every boy it's going. There's no fear of life. It's food, lodging, good people. Nice place. Hmm. It is a nice place. I've lived here all my life. It, it's a good place to settle down. Have a family, kids. It must be so hard for you, being here all alone. I hope that you get your visa soon. Even got Nambi Kevachar Kuranga. Nandri. 
Thanks. Okay. Now, I just want you to try to relax today. I'm gonna do the shiatsu massage again. Inne ki konja relax pannunga. Shiatsu massage se poranga. How's your head and your neck feeling and how are the places you are injured? Talayum kalutum eppadi irukku? Adavida ungalku paadikapatta idam ipa eppadi irukku? Ah, talavali irukku. Kulusu koduthirikkiran poduran mathadallam vali irukku. Sudupotta idam kaal vali appadiye tha irukku. Headache is still there. They've given her pills. She takes those. Everywhere else the pain remains the same. Where she was shot. Her leg. The pain is still there. Okay. Well, try to clear your mind. Or if that's too hard, think about things that make you happy. Things that make you smile. but just try to relax ninga inneki relax pannunga edha patti yosikka vena illati nalla ninaivugal patti mattum yosinga manasukku sandosham kudukkara maadhiri edavathu eppadi irundhalum relax pannunga now if i do anything that makes you uncomfortable or causes you any pain I want you to let me know and I will stop immediately. Even gangya thottu ungalk pedikatti sollalam. Odane ni paathirvaanga. Sorry. Are you right? Hi, tung tingla da. Unga. மலையை பார்க்கும்போது உண்ட நினைப்பு தான் பத்ம அப்படியே அடி வாங்க நினைப்போ மேகம் தூது கொண்டு போகுமா காதலுக்கு காளிதாசன் சொல்லி இருக்கிற எந்த தூது வந்துச்சோ 
கவிதை சொல்லட்டு சொல் நான் பார்த்த மலை துளிகளை நீ பார்த்தாயோ அதை என்னிடம் கூறியதை நீ கேட்டாயோ மேகம்தான் தூதுவன் என்று கேள்விப்பட்டுள்ளேன் ஆனால் இங்கோ மலை தூதை கொண்டு வந்துள்ளதே இது என்ன மாற்றம் என்ன மாற்றம் மாற்றம் தூதுவன்னிடம் மட்டுமல்ல என்னிடமும் தான்
உம் சின்ன வயசுல பார்த்தது மணே இப்படி பார்க்க வேணுமே நீர்ப்போம் இங்கே இருந்தால் பிள்ளைகளுக்கு கஷ்டம் உம்மு விட மாட்டினோம் நான் நீ வேலை கொழும்பில் உள்ள மாமா வீட்டில் விடுறது நீர்ப்போம் படகு வந்து ஆஸ்திரேலியா போகுது நீர் போயிட்டு பேண்டு பிள்ளையெல்லாம் எடுப்பிக்கலாம் புது தான் ஒரே வழி மனே இப்போதைக்கு இவேளை நான் பார்த்து கொள்கிறேன் நீர் பயப்பட வேண்டாம் எங்களை விட்டுட்டு போக போறீங்களா படகு இருக்கல்லோ இந்த மாதிரி படகுல அம்மா போயிட்டு கொஞ்ச நாளையில வந்து உங்களை நிவேதன எல்லாரையும் கூட்டி கொண்டு போற என்ன அப்பா அப்பா முதல்ல போயிட்டு அம்மா போயிட்டு வந்துருவேன் அம்மா வரும் வரைக்கும் நீங்கள் நிவேதன கவனமா பார்த்து கொள்ள வேணும் என்ன nothing to be sorry for kadavale niga manip kekka vendi avasiyam illa nandri 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 means thanks Janika I think that'll be all for today. You can go now. Let me know when you need me next. I'll be here. Really? Hmm. Thank you.
conflict or persecution force many people to leave their homes in search of safety. But fortunately, people affected by displacement have a right to seek asylum in another country. Asylum seekers are people who have requested protection from conflict or persecution, but their request has not been processed yet. People lodge an asylum application at a relevant authority of a host country, for example, a local asylum office. From this moment on, they are recognized as an asylum seeker. To prove that their request for protection is legitimate, asylum seekers go through a lengthy process. Trained officials will usually conduct a detailed interview with the asylum seeker. The interview helps them find out where the asylum seeker has come from and why they fled. Besides the interview, asylum seekers are usually asked to present identity documents and other materials supporting their application. That can be a passport, a birth certificate or a marriage certificate. Next, the asylum authority will assess the credibility of the information provided by the asylum seeker. In particular, that means to find out the reasons why they fled and what risks they would face should they return. Processing an asylum application can take a long time. Whilst they wait, asylum seekers usually stay in the host country. In most cases, they have a right to the daily essentials, a place to sleep, meals, and healthcare. Despite this support, life as an asylum seeker can be full of challenges. Many asylum seekers stay in facilities with less privacy than in a private home. Whilst their asylum application is being verified, many of them live with unanswered questions and uncertainties on their status. During the procedure, they may not have permission to work and earn a living and to do other important things in life. Once the whole procedure is complete and every bit of information has been checked, the asylum authority will take a decision. If an asylum claim is rejected, asylum seekers are asked to return to their country and may get assistance to do so. Others try to appeal against the decision. If, however, the asylum claim is accepted, the asylum seeker will be granted protection. This means they gain refugee status or another protective status. Refugees should be granted a right to remain in their host country in safety and dignity. They should have rights to access education, work, healthcare and other essential services.